to be or not to be? That is the question. When it comes to tying knots, I am not a professional. But today, I will show you a few simple knots to tell you how to be naughty and nice. Be sure to check it, check it twice. I live on a farm, and I can't tell you how many times I've had to hold, haul, or hook something together. There are so many knots out there, and I don't always know which knot to use. That is why today I will be demonstrating a few simple knots that you can use anytime and anywhere. The first knot I will start out with is the improved clinch knot. The improved clinch knot is started by taking first taking your piece of rope and making a loop. Then taking the short piece of rope and wrapping it around the long piece of rope four times. After you are done with wrapping the rope around your long piece of rope. Pull it through the loop, again through the top of the loop, and then around to the rope you just made, the loop you just made on the back. Pull tight, and you have the improved clinch knot. The improved clinch knot, mostly common, mostly used in fishing, can also be used to tie a lead to a rope this knot is strong and reliable, which is why fishermen go to this knot regularly. As I learned on Animated Knots by Rob, last updated July 1st, 2013, the simple steps for tying the improved clinch knot and the interesting facts about its usage. According to Randy Penn's article, Everything Knots by Grog, from April 2004, there are over 500 kinds of knots. The next knot I will show you is the double overhand stopper knot. The double overhand stopper knot is constructed by first making a loop, then passing, making sure the short end is on top, passing the short end through the loop several times, making a twist in your rope. Pull tight, as you can see the shape, kind of like an infinity sign, and pull tight. And there you have the double overhand stopper knot. The double overhand stopper knot is often used to secure another knot. It is useful on the farm. As you can see, it is, can be used to secure another knot, like, for instance, the bowline knot, which we, you, will, you will learn next. But as a kid, I would use this knot to make a swing. Now that I have shown you the improved clinch knot and the double overhand stopper knot, let's tie up another loose end with the bowline and the slip knot. The bowline knot. You first construct the bowline knot with taking your rope in both hands and making a loop. Make sure the short end is on top or the, this knot will not work. Pass the short piece of rope through the loop, around the long piece of rope, and back through the loop at the side, and pull tight. Let me demonstrate that again. To make a rope, to make a bowline knot, you make, make a loop, make sure even the shorter end is on top, Pass the rope through the loop, around the long piece of rope, and back through the loop on the side. Pull tight, and there you have the bowline knot. The bowline knot. Two bowlines can be linked together to conjoin two ropes. This knot is used to anchor, as is, isn't used to anchor something. A slight adjustment to this bowline knot, and you can have a lasso. To make a lasso, all you have to do is first make your bowline knot. Then take your long piece of rope and pass it through the loop on the side. Then pull it tight around your desired object and pull tight. And there you have a lasso. This is used to tie or carry something. The next knot we will demonstrate is the slip knot. According to Wikipedia, last updated 2013, this knot is used for attaching a rope to an object or carrying heavy things. First, to make this knot, you make another loop, making sure this time that the short piece of string is underneath the long. Then, pinch together two pieces of rope, pull it through the loop, and pull tight. And there you have the slip knot. You can use these knots. So far, we have connected the cases between the bowline knot and the slip knot. Now it's ready to tie everything together. The final knots I will demonstrate is the slip knot. 
The slip knot is used for a tight pull and a quick release. By pulling on this side of the rope, you can release it quickly and therefore letting go any livestock or anything, etc. The next thing we will demonstrate is the cow hitch. The cow hitch is constructed and it's very easy to construct by making, taking the two ropes, taking the rope in both hands, flipping your wrist, wrist inward and making two loops, a left and a right loop. Then since we're working with a hitch, all we're going to do is place the right, the right loop over the hitch and then fold the left over on top of the hitch. Pull tight and there you have the cow hitch. The cow hitch is one of the easiest and quickest knots to learn. The knots, this cow, this cow hitch knot is used for attaching a rope to an object. You can use this knot to secure an animal to its lead post. The next knot we will be demonstrating is the square knot. The square knot is constructed by first taking your two pieces of rope together and making an X. Then pass the left side of the rope underneath the right to make a loop. It will kind of make a twist in the center. Then you make a U shape and then cross the two tops of the ropes together to make form another X. Pass the left side underneath the right and pull tight. Then pull the opposite sides of the score knot and you can secure your knot that way. This score knot is common to secure a knot to another knot. It is also used to put a bow on a gift or tie your first pair of shoes. This is a very secure knot. Most of us have tied the square knot before in childhood, or on shoes or presents, but not many of us know the strength of this knot. That is said by one knot, Philippe Pate, April 2012. A step-by-step -step review of this knot was found on the website YouTube, last updated October 2011. The next knot I will show you is the nap hitch. The nap hitch is constructed by first laying your piece of rope over a pole, then by taking the front of the loop Cross it and then pull it behind the loop and through the loop at the top. After we have done this, pull your rope back through the loop at the side and pull tight. And there you have the net hitch. The nat hitch is used in fishing, climbing, sailing, and camping, and for safety. Now that I have taught you these basic knots, you should be able to see that you don't have to be a professional to tie knots. You can use these knots anytime on the farm, in the house, or, on the, or in the field. Now, go on.